Hi, it's Lou Brown. I've been buying, holding and selling property now for over 40 years. I have been a landlord. I know what I'm talking about. I've learned a lot. I'm a veteran of over a thousand section eight contracts, for example, and many, many more tenants that lived in properties where I was the landlord. What I discovered is <laughs> landlording sucks. What I discovered is that landlording is not the thing to do. And in fact, that's the biggest mistake you could make in this business. Now I love residual income and I absolutely adore that rental property can give that to me and a lot more in fact. But what I discovered is how do I get on the other side of the table? In other words, there's a landlord and there's a tenant and the tenant and the landlord have adverse positions in the deal. I like the idea of being on the same side of the table with the tenant. And in fact, we call them clients. Why do we call them clients? Because they are not renting. They are on what we call the path to home ownership where we help deserving families, regardless of credit or financial background to end up with home ownership. We take them on a journey to help them have a different vision for their lives, help them with their dream, their vision, their goals, and be the one to help change that person. And in fact, their entire family, and in fact, even generations to come because of the fact that those folks, instead of renting, were looking for and accomplishing a better life. So in fact, I wrote a book called Never Pay Rent Again, The Path to Home Ownership that we give to our clients that are potentially buying homes uh, and giving them the guidelines of what to do and how to do it. Now, what does that do for us, you and me, right? Because we would have rented a property. So what does a landlord do? A landlord purchases a property. They have a certain cost of funds that they have to cover. And then they rent the property out sometimes for a very thin differential. And that is supposed to be your profit. But one water heater, one roof lake later, you've got a year or two years worth of income absorbed into that property. And you're not on the plus side at all. Another way of looking at it is our strategy of the path to home ownership, where our folks that are moving in are people that want to be there. They want to be part of the program. They want a better life than the one they've got. What does that do for you? They pay to be there. Uh, so we get anywhere from 3.7% up to 10% on our rent to own program. And then when people achieve the 10% level, they move into our in-house financing program. And once they have good enough credit and good enough down payment, they can what we call pop the top and buy the property or buy a different property from us. And what does that do? That gives us money now, gives us income monthly, and it gives us money later when they purchase the property. We can see them coming. We can arrange to buy another property to replace that property when we see them getting towards pur purchase of the property. In the meantime, you've got a better resident. They don't have to pay rent. They want to pay the payment to you. We call it their monthly housing payment. Their monthly housing payment even has some incentives in there to help them move up the path to home ownership. There's a lot of differential between my life as a landlord and my life as a certified affordable housing provider, because being able to make that shift made all the difference in the world, not only in our income, but also our sanity. You've got someone that's living in the home that has a different mindset than a traditional rent. Traditional renter, that's your house. You need to come fix it. Somebody that's looking to own the home, that's their house and they're looking to own it. So they will do some things in order to be a homeowner in training and learn what it takes to be able to own a home. There's some differentials for them as well. Of course, there's tax benefits when they get to certain levels of the program where now 
they can actually write off on their taxes, what they're paying you in interest and property taxes. So there's many benefits to taking people down the path to home ownership. Also, we've identified profit centers that you can provide to your clients. And these are services that your clients are paying for anyway, that you can provide. And as a result, you get paid for providing those services, such as utilities, such as uh, their security monitoring, their internet, their cell phones and so many more things. These are all residual income profit centers that you can add to your business. And that's the reason why I say being a landlord is not a good game, but being in the real estate business and providing housing is an awesome game. I look forward to seeing you soon. I have a website, certifiedaffordablehousingprovider.com. I'd love to reveal the program to you. Love to have you to one of my one day or three day discovery events and really discover what we have to offer and how it is so different than what typical landlords do. I look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, baby.